just a heads up, I'm very busy with my website, with my Facebook and Instagram accounts, and also with editing interviews that I recorded for you. So if ever I don't post an episode on a day, just know that I'm busy doing that. I'm not slacking. I'm not um, dialing down. I'm actually dialing up. <laughs> And I will keep posting several episodes for you every week, just not daily anymore because the workload is getting bigger and bigger. If you enjoy my content here, if you yeah, really like listening to my podcast for free here and you feel like rewarding me, then please share or review on Apple iTunes or you can now buy me a coffee <laughs> for just a couple do dollars and yeah, it's just your way to show me that you're out there and listening and I should be doing what I'm doing here because it serves you so well. Thank you so much for listening. Here we go. Today I want to talk about comparing and jealousy and insecurities. Um, a dear friend of mine, <laughs> I will not mention his name because maybe he doesn't want that. He lives in California and grows avocados. Posted a picture of himself on Instagram couple days ago and it was very very like awesome to see him and to read his comment and it was a very vulnerable comment and he was very open about how insecure he used to feel about his body and stuff and it just blew me off my chair <laughs> because this guy is so um yeah handsome and comes across as very secure and then to know that he's struggling with um, not feeling perfect and not feeling um, yeah as handsome as he looks like is just very very astonishing to me and this happens all of the time like as soon as I scratch a little more on the surface of uh, the people I know And the people are very handsome and beautiful individuals, strong individuals. And you find out they don't really like themselves. They don't really cheer for themselves. And they, yeah, don't enjoy how they look. And looks are so important nowadays. It's incredible. It's, it's yeah even very sad how looks become important in our society when you look at Instagram and Facebook and Hollywood and magazines and everything and there's all the time uh, like your ego can feel at threat if you say that in English it can feel threatened and wants to compare itself and as I said just now It is your ego, your part of yourself that is always in competition with others, that is always protecting and trying to serve you as best as it can. But it usually fails because comparison and jealousy drives us apart instead of bringing us together. So we end up being lonely with our jealousy and our comparisons and insecurities because we don't share it with people and we start believing them and it's kind of a vicious cycle. That why, That's why it was so incredibly beautiful to read this about my friend because I had no idea about this and it just, yeah makes me wonder how much how many more people are out there so beautiful doing such awesome things and not knowing how amazing and important they are in our community on our planet so what is it about comparing and 
and jealousy. I think it's a natural thing that we do. But I think we can also learn to guide our monkey mind, our ego, into more quieter, calmer waters. So next time you notice you being jealous, I want you to think... So let's think it's another person, right? I want you to think that, yeah, this other person might be more successful on on certain levels. It might look pretty, um, might, ha might have a little more money and stuff. And now observe your monkey mind. Observe what it says. It says right away, oh yeah, she's got it easy in her life. And she probably inherited all the money from her parents. Um, she's probably a lazy one and has all the time in this world to take care of her physical appearance, blah, blah, blah. You probably know how that goes. So next time you catch yourself doing that, I want you to know that you can change that story about that other person. And it will not only make the relationship between you and that other person better, Like even though we sometimes don't have a relationship with the people we're not, um, with people we're uh, jealous about, but it doesn't matter. We're all connected, and if we can start sending good energy to people that we are even feeling a little jealous about, it will change the way you feel about yourself too. So next time you see that beautiful successful person I want you to know I want you to tell yourself that that person had to struggle so hard and focus so hard to get where he or she is right now and that beauty yeah you will always see the external features that you might not have but the real beauty the radiation the the radiant part of the beauty I mean is the comfort and the confidence and the goodness that they feel because they might be doing good out there and supporting other people and they might feel awesome and healthy because they take the time to invest in their health and being healthy will result in looking beautiful Now, when it comes to weight loss, I also want you to know that if you are a person that is more anxious, regretful, clingy, attached, um, lives more in the past than in the moment or in the future, then those people, and I include myself too, those people tend to gain more weight or have a harder time to lose weight. Because on an emotional level, your body is in protection mode. Yeah, you want to, you experience pain in the past, you still regret stuff. And for the future, for the present, your soul or your being wants to protect you from that because you're such an intense feeler. So, of course, on a physical level, then you will have more fat storing around your hips, around your chest, around your thighs, because on an energetical level, you are trying to protect yourself and clinging onto old past situations that are still influencing you to this day. Resentment maybe towards a parent or a friend or an ex-partner Those emotional states, those mental states, will not allow you to lose weight easily. Again, because on an energetical level, your body, your chemistry is being told, we need to protect ourselves. So those people that we look at, and they're so beautiful and so healthy, trust me, those people put a lot of energy in their health. And of course, there's people who go under and have surgery and stuff, but I don't talk about those people. I talk about the other beautiful people. I talk about the people who are able to let go of resentment, of regret, who are 
in full acceptance of themselves and embrace their flaws, are aware of their communication. Those people are the people that we look at and, and feel, oh, they're so beautiful, they're so successful. But they had to work so hard to get there. They didn't get it for free. And you can get there too. You can do the work and be that beautiful, successful person out there. We all can be. We just have to believe in us, in ourselves. My English really sucks today. <laughs> Excuse moi. And we have to be aware of the work that we want to do in order to liberate ourselves and to get rid maybe of those extra pounds. So, next time you're jealous, please know that this person is good. It will make you aware of your monkey mind. And it will maybe make you aware that you could do a little more for your health. Or you could do a little more for your mental health. And meditate a little more. Listen more to my podcast here and come back to your center, come back to your heart. And then you will feel better about yourself and less jealous about others and you will tend to compare yourself less to other people and just enjoy other people's success and see it as inspiration instead of a threat. Thank you so, so much for listening to the Borealis Experience today. I'm your host, Aurora, and I will be back out there for you very soon again. Take care. Also, today is World Water Day, so drink lots of water and appreciate all the running, fresh, drinkable water that is around you. Never take it for granted.